Okay, guys, so it's the end of the day on Wednesday. My hair is still in these twists from last week. My hair is dry and crazy. What I'm going to do is take this down, wash it, slick it up. The first installment of the uh, head wrap, I showed you guys how to create height. And I used this puff. If you missed that one, just it's the probably my last video. I was going to do a, that series every Sunday, but I'm going to just do it as I get inspired once a week. It may not always be on Sunday, but it will be once a week. I got a lot of feedback, a lot of questions. One was, um, where do I get my scarves? And I was going to take you guys to the thrift store with me, and I still may. Any thrift store you go to, always check their bucket. They got a bucket. They got a section of scarves. I've been collecting scarves, you guys, for over 20 years. Like, literally. Some of them I've given back to the thrift store. Some of them I've given away. Always check the thrift store. TJ Maxx has some. Um, but they're more expensive. I don't like to spend more than 2 or $3 on my scarves. But, you know, for a nice scarf, you're going to pay, like, $15, $20. Um... So anyway, I'm going to take this down, like I said, wash. And I just had this idea since this puff was just still sitting here um, to pull my hair up and wear the puff exposed with a scarf. This is a different type of scarf. Remember that other scarf was really large that would cover my whole head. This scarf is not as wide. It literally is only this wide, so it's not going to cover my whole head. Um, this is one of those scarves. If you have a long, narrow scarf that you would just wrap like this any kind of way and expose the top of your hair. So if you have long hair, you could do a twist out and expose this scarf. I mean, expose the top of your hair. So I, my hair is not long enough. I mean, it's getting there, you guys. It's growing back out, and I'm letting it grow this time. I'm not getting it cut again. Uh, but I'm going to just put this puff on. And my hair is not long enough in the back to put up in a puff. But the way I'm going to tie it in the morning, it'll cover that part up. So this is episode two. Just using a long, narrow scarf. Um, and I was going to, I'm going to still come back and show you my scarf storage. How I store them, but I got to organize that. So that might be over the weekend but this is a narrow scarf this scarf came with a, a shirt that I had made I have two shirts that I had this African girl make me and she just included that scarf let me show you this some of you might remember this shirt because I did a I did a photo shoot a mini photo shoot some time ago probably three three or so years ago I don't know it's a shirt and, and, and these these are the sleeves. Let me see, where's this other sleeve at? It's, it's down in there. Y'all, I tried to put this on the other day, honey, chow. And um, so it, it, it falls off your shoulders and these are the sleeves. I mean, it literally, it falls. Your whole shoulder area is exposed with just these little sleeves right here. And it's short, comes at the top of your waist, super cute. But um, all this and through here, I didn't got thick. I didn't put on some pounds because I haven't been working out, but like I said, that's another. Y'all know I used to go hard. <laughs> so once I get back to it, I'm going to be back to it. So anyway, I'm just rambling on trying to get these twists out and I'm just going to wash it, condition it, slick it down and put a scarf on tonight so that in the morning, this is laying as, you know, as flat as it can be. So that I can put it up, gather it all up nice and neat, put my puff on top, and um, y'all yeah, be coming on coming on here looking busted. Y'all yeah, know I must love y'all or just don't care. <laughs> Cause I'll be looking busted. But that end result be nice though, right? I clean up nice. <laughs> anyway, y'all didn't kind of cold. I don't know if I sound congested, but I didn't kind of summer cold, which are the worst. Going back and forth. From the heat to the air conditioning and caught a summer cold but i'll see y'all in the morning yeah I'm a, i promise i'm gonna get better at showing y'all my outfits but i have this it's like a denim a really light denim shirt i wore this i think last week 
and I could wear it all the way off the shoulders. You guys probably have just recently seen that. But I just did laundry and it was on the top, so I'm wearing that again with the ruffles, bell sleeves, and then just this black and white skirt that comes to my knees. It's like a pencil skirt. It looks really big on this little mannequin thing, but it, it's kind of fitted. And then I just threw this wig up here to show you guys how I'm gonna have the scarf on my head. So you see how the scarf and the skirt don't match, but it doesn't have to. I think it just flows. I think it just flows. So again, once I figure out how to show you my outfits, but somebody did say they suggested that I show how I coordinate my outfits with my scarf. I don't try to match everything so matchy matchy. If that if it works out that way, then great. But by the scarf being way up here and the skirt, I just think it flows. So into who? Once again, I'll see y'all in the morning. Okay, guys, I am running late, but I got my hair. This is just, I had it last night with a scarf around it. Just a, a night scarf. Like this. Okay. Then I am going to attach this puff it has two combs in the front and the back. Really making sure it's secure. Fluff it out. And this thing just been sitting in a drawer for it. Probably, I don't even know how long. Okay. Take the scarf. And you guys asked for the measurements too, so I pulled out my. Uh, handy dandy tape measures I will be doing that giving you guys but this is a short scarf you see this scarf ain't got no length on it hardly but I want to make sure since my hair is short in the back that it's covering that up and then I don't even know how I'm going to tie it. This is an African scarf, and the African scarves are thick. It's like a super thick cotton, and you can kind of mold the fabric how you want. So just like a bow tie in the front, maybe. Maybe just one, tuck this side. Pretty much do what you want like that. I like that. Pull it back just a little bit. I think that's cute. Just so you get the idea of your hair. Even if you have braids, you can bring your braids up, tie the scarf, and then let the braids fall to one side. Okay. I am like I said, always running late in the morning. I'm not gonna be late, but you know. It's raining and my dog didn't want to go out this morning so I'm going to have to still try to get her to go out. Where's my earrings? 
So, that was yellow my scarf. Yellow and orange. And y'all see how the scarf doesn't, I have on that black and white skirt. It doesn't have to match. A little contrast, a little flavor. And that's it, nothing else here. I'm gonna throw in my, my yellow chucks and be. Or I could put on a pair of sandals, but um, I don't wear these yellow chucks very often. I think they'll be cute with this outfit today. Well, let me put on some thick gloss lipstick. I was only now just puff to stay on my head today. Don't fall off puff. I should put some, put some extra pins in it just to hold it down. Just to be sure. I wore my scarf a real cute way uh, the other day. I didn't record though, but I had it covered all over and I was trying to tie it in a bow on the side, but I couldn't get it, so I just brought it down and the bow was just hanging on the side. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back and do that. I mean, it was real cute. I'll play around with that later. I think for now that's okay. It'll work. I see y'all. In my necklace. I might put other videos in between the hair wrap series. I just thought of this one today. Or I might not. I might just go ahead and do the hair wrap series. Alright, see y'all next time.